It's Friday afternoon. I am sitting in the garden and <laughs> doodling, as you can tell. Thought, oh yeah, make a make a start thing. Uh, like so, it's just an impromptu, <laughs> an impromptu start to the video. Let's have a little walk around. Let's shut this book because otherwise that's going to be flapping the whole time. So I did a video last Friday and stuff's changed. So I thought we'd go for a little walk around. Obviously, beware for Amberis. All right. One thing I've done this week is I've bought some copper tape. And one thing I'm going to be talking about, and <laughs> so she. Oh, fucking the gook. One thing I'm going to be talking about is a new sort of deterrent I've uh, come up with. But. Well, I'm sure somebody else has as well, but we'll do the whole garden tour. As you can see, I've got some kitchen scraps in this one, and it's not been done because it's not done yet. Um, I've been out and bought some stones, because that, I think, is very important. This is a broken down piece. Somebody up the road, because I live in Javaland, somebody up the road broke down. This was inside a washing machine. It just Somebody put a washing machine out, and this is a weighted bit it's like a big big circular thing and somebody broke it into bits which was <laughs> cheers that person because it's really fucking heavy i don't know what it's got in it but it's really heavy so that's cracking and so i've put some um grass in that one and some kitchen scraps because i'm following uh robbie and gary in america i really should put in the uh, description their channel because um she's my god this year um and i put some scrap mud I have scrap mud in that tub over there. Let's go see me scrap mud. <laughs> I grew potatoes in here years ago. This is just there's some slugs in there. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what they're doing down there. But yeah, this is just scrap mud from ages ago. So I use that to fill the bottom of my planters. Uh, and I've got three because I've bought three three new peppers this week. Went to uh, Morrison's purposefully because I, ca I can't get peppers to grow this year um, I've, I've put some in there I'm going to call that purgatory as you, as you know I've said before <coughs> pretty much everything I do is supernatural related at the minute I'm going to a convention in September and I'm just supernatural it's a supernatural summer so we've got here Sam Castiel bless his little heart and Dean Dean's yellow Sam's a long and Sam's lengthy <laughs> and little Castiel bless him look at him oh, somebody's been round his see that right let's get on right let's put him out off the floor apart from anything else I've... oh look at them Come on, baby. Right, here we've got the crownlies, the other cucumber plants. Down the bottom, down there, we've got, uh, behind the bin, we've got Cuthbert. And the crownlies are going in. So we've got Cuthbert and the crownlies, uh, Fergus and uh, Alistair, obviously. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, so we'll put him up there. Let's just cover that up. Let's just cover it, like literally, this is called have a go gardening for a reason, I literally don't know what I'm doing, that's what I'm there, but it's it. And this is an example, now on the video last week, I showed this little fella, basically it was up here, and um, I planted it out, I don't know whether it was the wind or one of my cats, snapped clean off literally snapped in half so all i did was just dug around a bit and just put the top off in the soil and left it to die and it's not <laughs> it hasn't look it's got we've got new growth it's it wants to live so see these were just little piddly weeds left on the kitchen that I've decided. there's not a lot new going out oh oh there it is we've got some color that I don't, I don't think it is a Logan, but it's some kind of berry, it's not a raspberry. I know that's much. <laughs> sticky willy, bane of my existence. The blueberries look this literally should be dead. I've had this a few years. I think I got it the same year I got the cranberry plant. 
I say plant, it's and ended up with a garden full of brambleys, brambleys, brambleys fields forever. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so but then, like, D Dean has been eaten, so we've got to do something about the slugs there. We've got the little cucamelon trap, which I think, hmm, where I started, look, Sid, Sid's started clinging, and, um, Jill started clinging first. Lucy is, oh, yes, he started clinging too. That's cool. Like, this, none of this is meant to be here. <laughs> Just should point that out. Um, so, let's get on to this look thing. So here we've got Hal Halsey and Baby Pino. Uh, guess what they are? Yes, they're jalapenos. Um, and as you can see, things have been eating and whatever. So, I went and got some toothpicks, not toothpicks, there are toothpicks in here because I've got some toothpicks just lying about. But first of all, I just got a skewer, a wooden skewer and just snapped it in because there's no point sticking the old bloody thing in there because you only use a little bit. Oh, so I was like, yeah, let's, let's put them there. And uh, poof, your slugs can't get on. Now I've had the idea, I've got a packet of uh, lollipop sticks as well. So I'm just breaking them into three and then just putting them in a row all the way around the outside. Obviously it's got the copper tape on as well. But if anything gets past the copper tape and tries to get in, it then has a, a defensive row of spikes. And I'm hoping that literally it'll just deter things they'll come round and come straight back off or they'll impale themselves and die a grisly horrible way but i'm just wanting to protect the plants basically so that's my genius idea whether it works or not we'll find out as the summer goes on the fuchsia plant look is lovely why i didn't do flowers before i'll never know because i'm really enjoying it it really is a nice thing. Oh, Colin, look, um, has a lady, a lady flower ready to bloom at last. It's just been men. Look, it's a man party. It's just, they're dancing on their own. Uh, but we do actually have a lady flower. So, fingers crossed. What else have we got? Frambrace. Who knew? Uh, here we've got, like, this was just... Uh, uh, this is it's a wild strawberry plant. Occasionally, I have got fruit from this. I told you them I was going to fly. So we've got some num num, but tiny bits of num nums. Wilbur Winchester starting to lean, so I think I'm going to have to stay again. But you see what I mean about the old um, slug barrier thing? It's like, yeah, come on then, come on, let's have you. Now, when, when I went to uh, Morrison's in the week, I didn't just get pepper plants. I got more marigolds because they were all eaten. Which, at the end of the day, they're there to detract from the tomatoes. But still, there was nothing there to detract from the tomatoes. So I just got... <laughs> See? Already. I need to put some slug deterrent around there. But that's got slug tape on. Ruby Rose, bless her. How are we doing at the minute? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> so we've got a new one. So that must be this one because that looks quite fresh. Even if she only lasts this year, Ruby Rose has been well worth, I think, £3.79 she was. And boy, did we have issues buying her uh, because the till wouldn't accept the code and there was only one woman in Morrison's to sort out all the tills, all the ones manned and self-serve, one lady blast her, and she was running between, she was run ragged. Morrison's need to have a word, but they do sell some cool shit. <laughs> Literally went to Morrison just to buy peppers and came out with marigolds and sugar snap peas. Now I don't really think, well I don't know, 
I'm a bit of, <laughs> apart from anything else, they got knackered on the bus on the way back because I accidentally put the marigold on them. Whether they live, I don't know, but two quid experiment. Oh, you eat. Yeah, let them live. Don't kill them. How did that get in there? Like, literally, I put the... I put the coffee on yesterday. Oh, and as you say, <laughs> this poor fella down here, the other day I came out and there was like a big new growth on the top and I'm like, yes, it lives. And I came out like two hours later, it hadn't rained, nothing was on the mud, nothing. Nothing had happened and it had gone. Um, this just keeps, it takes a licking and keeps on kicking. This is Bobby. And this is actually where I started with the slug trap thing, the slug uh, deterrent, because I found some plastic forks. I was very excited about finding the plastic forks. Like, <laughs> I really don't get out much. Uh, so I've put a little plastic fork, because I've, I've got no more bean seeds. Look, he's got new growth there. That's quite exciting. I've got no more bean seeds, so it's an old, an old favourite. But come on, Bobby, we're rooting for you, mate. Now, see, front boys, front look, and they're sending out runners. If you're a gardener and you're in Leicester, come round my house. I'll give you some free cranberry plants, mate. You'll never want for fruit again in the summer months. Now, let me see this. Oh my God, that looks like flesh. Uh, fox fur. Basically, fox fur. Um, so I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that. Now these things I've left. I'm chopping around because I do cut my garden with, cut my grass with scissors, not least, because there are flambery plants everywhere. everywhere. But I'm chopping round these because I think, if I remember correctly, if I'm correct, we won't know until the flower. These, um, oh, I can't remember, Cinna something, Cinnabar, I'm wanting to say moths, black and yellow, orange, moths love living on them. So I'm leaving them for them and I'm thinking that's what this might be. Let's go have a look underneath here found this yesterday and I think it's a I think it's a moth cocoon but that's quite exciting and then when I was chopping today oh, what we got down there oh a little leaf book of some kind hello fella round here I noticed earlier on where are we over there well, you can see over there we've got a pinkening, a pinkening of a framberry. We're going to have hundreds of framberries this year. Uh, oh shit, there's one growing over there. There's some mint over there. That's, this bit has got to be tackled, uh, obviously. Oh, what we've got. And up here as well. <gasps> But up here we have a pinking in of a strawberry. But other than the um, the um, wild strawberries, nothing, nothing to eat yet. Oh, I've got to talk about Jared. Now Jared, now let's check. Yep. Last week Jared came to under my boob. This week, Jared comes to over my boob. Jared is just, is just legging all down. He's off. And I didn't say last week what Penelope actually is. Um, we'll get nothing off her this year, I don't think. Except for these. There's uh, a little bit of something there. But uh, she's a blueberry plant, but she's pink lemonade. Now, if you can get your hands on a pink lemonade blueberry plant, always do. They are delicious. Absolutely delicious. And here we've got some red currants. Like, literally, the, at the end of this year, I'm hoping that I'm actually going to do some end-of-season gardening for a change, because I've never done it before. And she'll get repotted, because um, 
it's, it's a shame to just leave things to wilderness but as I said before I've been there 2019 I just stopped right well the neighbours are uh, doing some gardening so I shall bugger off goodbye and hopefully I shall do another update next Friday bye